saying that this actually works. Hello everyone, I'm in the Mass Spectre and we're continuing our Golden Ghost series with the Assault Android Cactus. There's, I'm guessing, typing off that. Which be? Okay. Witch Beam Company. This is good music. Also, if I remember correctly, this has some bullet hell aspects. So. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, Lord. I can't imagine doing this in more than one person if it's actually designed like a bullet hell. Because then you. You have to like turn off the laser. I've caught up with a civilian freighter and I'm on. I forgot to turn subtitles on. Again, first time. Is it an audio? There we go. There we go. Is this like one of those short ones where you just do run-throughs and keep trying to get faster, faster times? Is that what this is? Might be. This is Who knows? Captain. I've caught up with a civilian freighter and I'm on approach. Copy that. You're looking at the Genki Star. It sent a garbled message three days ago before going silent. We need you okay. in close to scan for anomalies. Anomalies. Anomalies like bullets, I'm guessing. Weapons lock. That's a civilian freighter. Uh, there's a lot of lasers pointed at me. I think it used to be their asteroid defense system. This is beyond the scope of the operation. I'm advising yeah. you to abort the mission and retreat immediately. This is going to be and dead. That looks cool. Report? Huh. I hate those forms. I'll take my chances with the lasers. Listen to me, Cactus. The hangar is sealed. There's no way on board. I think I see an opening. I, I don't. I'm not sure if I'm or what. Oh, okay. That works. It's that also folks. works. I'm the police. Commence being calm. That was amazing. I thought we were done for. Well, I can't believe you hit those robots with your Come shit. On. Oh, no problem. I do that kind of thing all the time. Save people or crash into things. Both. How could I guess that you would say that? Move, aim, shoot. Oh, twin six shooter. It's twin six shooter plus bullet hell. Keep fighting, we can press the advantage. Oh my god, I hate that. Uh, feed an image and release energy. Collect energy to power up the primary weapon. Any, continue. Okay. I actually do like twinsters. I play Binding of Isaac. I actually have a liking for twin stick shooters instead of single stick. And if you don't know what the difference between those is, in uh... Oh, look at the size of that one. I'm going to need a gun. Hopefully. Each character has a special... Uh, 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 a powerful secondary weapon. Not special. Switch weapons and dodge is out. Jeez. Oh, it's a flamethrower! Okay. Hot, hot. It's your thing. Secondary weapons overheat during use and cooldown while holstered. The meter on the floor shows the heat level. What? Oh, oh, okay, I see it. For a second, I couldn't see it. And I was just like, oh, that's actually... Oh, this reminds me a lot of, um... Dubs Arcade. Like, a lot. If anyone remembers playing that... Oh yeah, I need to keep an eye on the battery. The battery always drains at a fixed rate, taking us as a temporary knockdown, but the mission only fails when the battery is drained out. Battery charge is released from destroyed enemies collected before it expires. Oh, so it's like time attack. It's like a time attack plus twin stick shooter bullet hell. I actually like that mechanic. That actually, as long as it's like, as long as you keep killing, you're not screwed. I actually do like that mechanic quite a bit. Because that basically means you can throw caution to the wind and kill things and be fine. Does someone want to fill me in? The ship's entire robot workforce is out to get us. 
Their masters, the four section lords, who are supposed to be protecting us, went nuts two days ago. And we've been fighting to survive ever since. We are not part of their little uprising because androids have independent cores. But that just means we're targeted along with the humans. Section lords can't take over ships. Your Nexus core is in charge. Why is she letting this happen? The core stopped responding three days ago. We were still investigating when the section lords made their move. Then our priority is getting your core back online. She's the one who can regain control. Someone, lead the way. Hold on there, space cop. There's a hundred thousand homicidal robots and three kilometers of ship between us and the core. Yeah? Who in their right mind would expect total strangers to follow them into certain death? Oh, right. I didn't introduce myself. My name's Cactus. Yay! Okay, so oh seeker. Okay, so assault and a flamethrower, a seeker and cannonball, spread shot and so spread shot and rockets, shotgun and plasma fuel. What's the difference between the spread shot? I'm guessing this is more. This more range with less damage. I'm guessing. Let's just go with. Cactus because that's the one we went to the story with. Yeah. Okay, this this really looks interesting. So that's like a, for lack of a better term, a Super Mario style map. But why? Why? Oh, I bet it's to get upgrades. I bet that's why those other levels are there. This is a boss fight, and I bet I'm not going to be able to beat it because I will not have the upgrades. Let's see, though. Protection on the lower ammo. Rat. Rats. Sneaky, filthy rats. Scurrying around my old. And here is another one. A nasty little throwaway. I'll touch you out the airlock like all the other vermin. Don't call me a stowaway. I'm an officer of the law and you're under arrest, section lord. Throw your arms on the ground and come quietly. Big words for a little android running on battery. Fill the how long this lasts before you get tired of playing cop. Oh, I see the bullet hell aspect. That didn't take long. Let's see. I actually made jerk of him. Apparently if you Walk around him. It is his kryptonite. Oh, so the orbs drop. Okay, he's on stage two. He's on stage two. Okay, this is interesting. This is... This is interesting. Okay, good. I got a battery charge. So it does drop battery charges out of each of its stages. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Whoop. Whoop. I know this is the first boss, so I shouldn't be too excited, but I'm actually doing decently, I'd say, for this. Granted, I need to get closer so I can use this. Oh, that melts him. That... That... There's no other word for it. I mean, I know that's technically a pun, but... That just melts him. Okay, I need to remember to use the dodge more often. Oh my god. Okay, tap fire. Okay, that is... That is definitely a penalty. And it actually is a pretty big one, because you do not want to be... You do not want to stop. Stop. Then your battery's gonna run out. Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. So there's no death, but your battery can be depleted by time attack. Okay. This is interesting. Honest to God, I don't say that about... This is one of the more... I think the best word for it is more original games that I've played. Because it's not like, oh, sword, it's like a twin-stick shooter, yeah, but it has a constant time attack mode. And your weapon does not power up by getting upgrades and going through stages, your weapon powers up by 
in stage. Which is actually quite cool. And yes, you have power-ups, but... And it also has that essence of bullet hell. That actually works kind of well. And I really do like the, uh... <laughs> 2D, 3D style. I don't know what it is, but I seriously actually do like the 2D, 3D style quite a bit. So this is amazing. And those upgrade points fell into the abyss, but okay. Batteries. Also, I really like the, uh, the way they handled the time attack, basically, portion of this, where it's like, oh yeah, you do have to worry about time. But as long as you keep killing enemies, and don't just hide in the corner, you can actually make a lot of progress. Because your time goes up the more enemies you kill, because you will eventually get battery drops. I really like that. HOLY SHIZA! By the way, I did not realize how many of them there were until just about then. Also, this primary weapon is getting OP. <laughs> I get I keep getting upgrades and uh, power-ups and stuff, but this primary weapon is OP and just slaughtering them right now. Okay, that's a basically a freeze power-up. This is a big chain, by the way. This is also playing on, like, combo... Um... On combo chaining. Which I really like that, actually. It's something I always liked about, like, Darksiders. It's combo thing. Oh, no, now it's playing to the Sonic, too. Oh. Uh, that's, that's actually pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. That's good scoring system. Next. Oh, does it, does it work on the system of, like, if you do it continuously, your gun keeps its levels? I'm honestly wondering what... Oh, that's cool. That, that's cool. That's a good way to change environment. Make every make everything be lit up to start with, and then have it go dark, but still let them see a little bit. That's enough of a change to throw people off. That is a good. That is good game design. I like that. <laughs> also, that dodge you can really time well if you do it right. I haven't been because I'm not that good at. Oh, I'm trying to dodge the things that are trying to help me. Sorry. For a second there, the uh, the uh, power up orb power shit stuff looked like it was hurting. Looked like it was trying to hurt me, and like it was a homing bullet. No, it's just power ups. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, and there we go. Got to maintain your heat bar. And that's also a good way to do secondary weapons. Like, I like that way of doing weaponry, where it's like overheating. That's a good way that developers have been able to gauge you without having it be... Oh, ammo! Oh, by the way, you're out of ammo, now you're dead. Because you physically can't... Okay, that's you. That is a useful respawn mechanic, too. I'm assuming you're not meant to go into the enemies, then. I tried to go into the... Horde of death, and I I died quite quickly. Come on, come on. There we go. That's good. Okay, I probably made, did horribly on that one because I bet it does. Okay, this is good. This is. I could easily see this being like a game you play with friends, most likely. They just come over for a night or something. Like, I, I could seriously see doing this. Like, maybe next time Hunter comes over, I, I just get him to play this with me. Because this is actually a pretty good game. It's good. It has good arcade mechanics. Which are always nice. And has... From what I could tell, somewhat of a story. Not too much, but... Just enough so that it's not like it's not there. Yes, yeah, it is there. It's not much. But it's enough to keep say that you're doing something. It's more than Battle Block Theater. 
but it's less than what a what other games have. So that's a nice thought. That you're actually playing a game with a decent story with your friends as they come over for a day or two. And you just want to play some stupid games. Just to pass the time. And it does have a score mechanic. And I looked at the score screen for a second and it did look like you easily just compete with your friends for score on this. That looked like to me when I looked at the screen. Because it said hero crafted specifically. Meaning that it probably it counts things individually. Meaning that you can have a, a bloody a bloody battle to the death with your friends on who can get the highest score. Come on. Also, uh, if you do play this game, there is a rule in Bullet Hells and in um, FPS and in first person shooters. And it's a rule in Bullet Hells most of the time. There are very few exceptions to this. ALWAYS KEEP MOVING! NEVER STOP LEST YOU BE DEAD! Okay. Okay. Yeah, that... I think this is the boss again. Okay, Production Lord Imbrel. I'm, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce that. The rats, sneaky, filthy rats, going around my old and the other one, and that the little stowaway. I'll dodge you out the airlock like, the, <laughs> like all the other vermin. I almost got through that without having to take a breath. Don't call me a story, I'm an officer of law, and you're under life section, Lord. Throw your arms on the ground and come quietly. He physically can't, his arms are attached to him. Big word for a little android running on battery. And well, let's. <laughs> we'll see how long this lasts before you get tired of playing cop. Okay. If I can get close to him. Because my problem last time. Oh, that does damage. I just realized that does damage. I'm glad I was avoiding that before, but Jesus Christ, is that painful if you get hit by it. Okay, lock up. Okay, that's useful. It's a lock up. Okay, good, more battery. It's always good. Missiles! A good missiles! Yeah. It looks like the secondary weapon is best served for the bosses. That's definitely what it looks like, because this thing is melting him. I literally don't have a better word for it. It is just melting. Oh god. I wish I didn't have to use melting because of flamethrower, but that, that's the only way I can explain the amount of damage that it's doing to him. Okay, you alternate. That is... You're about to hit me in the wall. Oh god, that's dangerous. Oh god. Ugh. Oh, and you do lose some of your primary upgrades. Okay, that's good to know. Battery. And is that armor? Oh, that's the uh, bots. I still haven't gotten all what all the uh, upgrades do in my head. Oh god. Oh god. Oof. Oh god. Oh god. His vitality is literally not even seeable if you're looking at what he's doing. Boss down. Okay. You have the right to remain silent, and um, I don't remember how the rest goes. Normally, my opponents explode. I might fall here, but do not underestimate the combined might of the other section lords. You'd fallen before I got here, pal, but thanks for the tip. Let's see what score I got. Probably horrible. E. D. Uh, credits. I didn't notice that before, but they're credits. So there's obviously. Oh, new android unlocked. Stark. Laser rifle and micro missile launchers. You look like you're asleep. What's the credits for? Well, what's the credits for? Stage one. What are the credits for? Uh, 
Okay. Stage two, stage three. This is probably locked. Oh, uh, that's the big guy again. What are the credits for? Okay. I'm seriously wondering what the credits are for. Let me go through this, and if the, I don't figure out what the credits are for, I might go to the main menu or something and see if there's anything there. If not, I might just end the video. Hopefully this uh, out fine. The reason I say hopefully is my laptop. If you have noticed all the blogs in D&D, &D, it's because El Gato is El uh, Touchy. <laughs> Let me put it like that. So, this is the first time in a while I've actually ported something on my Xbox. So, I hope this just goes fine. Okay, training, 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 charming, 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 charming! Oh, more, more firepower. Boom, boom, firepower! Okay, this, this is a good game. I, I, I say that, but again... This is a lot of personal preference, because this is a lot of genres put together. I could easily, and I mean easily, see someone hating this. Like, with all of their soul, just like, No, that game should not even exist, meh. Or you just don't like it, or just don't find it as fun as I do. I find it really fun, partially because I have, like, an addiction to most games. Like, there aren't that many games where I actively hate them. And this has fast-paced combat. And legitimately, it has me in the mentality of do not stop shooting ever, lest your soul be ripped from your body. And that's also another nice thing I like about this. It's hard, and it knows it's hard. Bullet hells are made to be difficult. But they managed to change that up a little bit because you can't die. You actually physically can't die in a level. You can run out of time, but you can't die. And that is a good way that you can separate out and, you know, kind of compensate for the fact that bullet hells are made to be tough. Especially on higher difficulties on some of them. On some of them, it's literally like there's 0.1% of the screen that is not filled with bullets that will insta-kill you. And, um... And you have to constantly keep moving because that part of the screen is currently changing. This one, you can't die in, but you lose time. That's the whole thing about it. You lose time. Okay. What are the credits for? What are the credits for? Can I exchange them in the Xbox Live store? What are the credits? Menu. Let me see if there's something in the menu, otherwise I might just end it here. Because I think we got a pretty good... New game mode, Infinity Drive, new game mode, Daily Drive, 14 new codex entries, 2 new soundtracks, 50 new sound tests. Oh, so it has a lot of extras too, doesn't it? Accessibility. Fire method. Okay, that's all that. Collections. Okay, yeah, it has a lot of extras. Oh! JJ Visual Filter Scorts Visitor Filter. Oh, they're for the, all the, uh. They're for all the extras. That's cool. Remove all HUD elements. Okay. Let the flow of battle affect the speed of music. Normal sized head mode. AI partners. Virtual player count. Duplicate characters. And mega weapons. Okay. That's that's good. Let me see how the uh, rubber music works. And then I'll stop this. I'm being serious. Yeah, that's a good way to handle that. Okay. Let me just go back to, with Cactus and just randomly do a level. Last processing. What? Actually, I can make something. Oh. 
Apparently not that many people have done that. They, it, it wasn't actually that explained, unless I missed a tutorial. It wasn't actually that well explained. Okay, I'm seriously trying to listen to music to see how much this changes it. Okay, it seems to be anytime something dies, it changes. <laughs> I just did that thing where I tried to start talking and it just like came and it just like spit in the back of my throat. Yeah, it changes it a little bit, not too much, but it does seem to change it a little bit. Okay. So that's how the EX option works. This this game is this game looks uh fun. Like legitimately. But I I really shouldn't say that. Because honestly, this is, it's your choice to get it. I mean, right now it's free. Hopefully when I upload this video, it will still be on the free part for Xbox Live Gold. So, if you want to get it, get it. And it, in my opinion, it's pretty fun. Your opinion may differ, but my, in my opinion, it's decently fun. And I mean, it has all those EX... At worst... And I mean this, at worst... You get some of your friends, you play it once, and it's just like a stupid fun thing you do once. At best, this is something that you and your friends do like every time they come over. That This is one of those games that you definitely play with your friends and you definitely try to outscore them. Do I get an S? Uh, I didn't get an S. Uh, okay. But yeah, that's it. That's it for that game. That, that, was, that was fun. But anyway... I am the Mass Spectre. This has been another in the Golden Ghost series. Like the video if you like it, dislike it if you didn't like it, comment if you want to comment specifically for these videos. Comment whether you like this game or not. Tell me if you look if it looks good. Uh follow, subscribe, notification bell on Twitter, of course, if you actually want to know of more stuff like this. But for now, I am the Mass Spectre, and goodbye.